Hello everyone. Do you have troubles with your slice shot at badminton? Let's talk about the Magnus effect. In this video, I will explain why the Magnus effect is lifting up the shuttlecock on some slice shot. The Magnus effect, giving rise to curved trajectories, is well known in sport balls like soccer or baseball, for example. The Magnus effect occurs when the spinning axis of a ball is perpendicular to its velocity as it propagates in the air. Then, the ball experiences a Magnus force perpendicular to its velocity and spinning axis. The different air pressure on each side of the ball gives rise to a curved trajectory. Look at what happens to the shuttle cock right after a slice shot. After impact with racket, it is spinning perpendicular to its velocity. And then it's lifting up. Look at what happens to this rolled sheet of paper. It falls with a vertical speed shown in blue, and it is rotating as shown by the orange arrows, which generates a Magnus force in green toward the left. Similar experiment can be done with a badminton shuttlecock, slightly modified for the experiment, in order to make it roll. Here again, the shuttlecock has a vertical speed and is spinning, which induces a Magnus force toward the left. For a slice shot, the initial speed is not vertical but horizontal, and the associated Magnus effect will lift up the shuttlecock. When spinning axis and velocity are perpendicular, the Magnus force is maximum. When the angle deviates from 90 degrees, the Magnus force decreases. When the spinning axis is aligned along velocity, the Magnus force vanishes. Thirty milliseconds is the time required for the drag force to flip the shuttlecock along its velocity. The shuttlecock experiences Magnus effect when it is perpendicular to its trajectory, and this lasts only thirty milliseconds. Left-handers generate an overdight spinning with slice shot, but given the relative orientation of spinning axis and velocity, this also translates into a Magnus force lifting up the shuttlecock. As explained in another video, the shuttlecock spins in opposite directions for left and right handers. Due to the orientation of the feathers, the friction with the air generates a stronger Magnus effect for right handers. Players should take care. Too much Magnus effect can reduce the effectiveness of the slice shot by lifting the shuttlecock more than necessary. This happens when racket impact provides too much transfer momentum and flips the shuttlecock perpendicular to its velocity, which maximizes Magnus effect and therefore shuttlecock lifting. A good balance between slice and transfer momentum allows for a perfect trajectory just above the net. I hope you enjoyed this video and understood why you have some troubles with your slice shots. Hopefully, I'll see you later for another video about the physics of badminton.